Before we begin, if you are considering starting your own YouTube channel or you'd just like to see how I create my videos, I have a free course on my website, which I'll link to below. No gimmicks, it is completely free, so I recommend having a look at that. Okay, on with today's video. Now, Apple has made restoring your iPhone or iPad from the iCloud very straightforward. To check whether your phone is backing up to the iCloud and what data is being backed up, simply open the settings app, click on your account name and click on iCloud. Here you'll see a list of what is being synced to the iCloud and at the bottom of that list is the option for your iCloud backups. If you have this option enabled, your phone will be automatically backing up when it's not doing anything else. And you can see that it will tell you when the last backup took place. You can choose to back up manually by pressing back up now. However, if you are planning on erasing your phone and restoring to a new phone, you'll be prompted to back up as part of that process. So let's do that now. If we go back to our main settings screen and scroll down, there is the option to reset the phone. I'll click on erase all content and settings, which completely erases all personal data from the phone and is something that you should do if you are considering selling or giving the phone away. As mentioned, we then receive the prompt to back up before erasing. So I'll click on back up and erase to kick off the process. Once complete, you are asked to provide your PIN code before confirming that you want to completely erase and reset the phone. To restore your new phone from backup after switching it on, you'll need to connect it to the internet and run through the activation process. You then get to a screen where you are asked how you wish to restore your apps and data. Click on Restore from iCloud Backup and provide your Apple account details. You're asked to provide your PIN code used on your old phone, followed by a new PIN code, and then you're asked which backup to restore from. I'll choose the most recent one and then we're then taken through a few more steps which I'll skip for now before the phone begins the restore process. Having completed the restore, the phone will restart and there you have it, all your data is restored from iCloud. Give it a little while to reinstall the apps and download your photos and other data, but otherwise that completes the process. So that is how you back up and restore your iPhone or iPad from the iCloud. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more useful tips like this one. And remember to check out the link below for my free course. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.